birthday party. On Christmas Eve many years ago, I was listening for a song. The ringing bells of Santa's play. There is no Santa, my friend and sister, but I knew he was wrong. Late that night, I took her sound of moving trains of screeching metal. I looked up. I saw a train sitting outside my house. All the boards to the engineer. He said, well, you're coming. Where? I asked. Why to the North Pole, he said. This is the polar dress. He took his hand and pulled me aboard. The train was filled with other children, all the pajamas and night gowns. Um, he drank hot chocolates, thick of rich and milder chocolate bars, and candy to Nougat Center, the point of snow. Outside the town of the village, it screeched as the polar dress raced forward. Soon there were no more cities or towns they see. We walked in low gray forests, no lean walls to throw our trade with rocket paths. The polar dress spun faster and faster. We climbed mountains so high as pure blue and scraped the moon. We crossed in the valley. Soon we crossed over a great valley of ice. Great polar ice cream. There, the north, as the conductor, is the North Pole. The North Pole is a huge city at the top of the world. Every single Christmas toy in the world with factories built with every Christmas toy made. What are we doing here, said the children? This is where Santa Claus will give the first gift to Christmas. Who receives the first gift? We will choose one you. Santa Claus has journeyed out into the group. The conductor was outside the porter ship. The elves cheered up wildly. And, and Santa said, let's have the stole over here. He said, now, what would you like for Christmas? I knew I could have any gift I wanted. The thing that I wanted most was one silver doll from Santa's sleigh. He smiled. He gave me a hug. He held he told a doll, a doll from the reindeer's hunt. He stood, born to the doll, high and said, first gift of Christmas. The clock struck midnight, the old tree, the old swing to approval. So, the sent clothes of first place, the door pulled us dry. Children asked, let's see the bell. The only thing I felt was a hold. The children said, I'm sorry I have no go over it. Uh, in the port, the train a little bit hurt. We were on our way home. I was living outside. Broke my heart to myself. I felt bad. It's not even time to work. And Dr. said it's the worst. I yelled, Why? He said, Merry Christmas. Next morning, my little sister Sarah and I unwrapped her gifts. It looked like everything went unwrapped. A window inside with the sun fell. And I'll listen to see my sleigh. Fix that hold your pocket. I'm Chris Pringle. I shook the bell. The beautiful sound my sister and I ever heard. My father said, That's too bad. Yes, he said. Broken. I'm chicken bell. I turned to the herd itself. At one time, my friends could still hear the bell. The new path of bell sounds with them. And then Sarah thought that one quickly she could no longer hear the sweet sound. The bell I've grown old, bells that reach me, and bells for all. 